This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. So everybody, here we are at the very final part of painting at least, because we're going to be getting this very, very different type of game onto the board here. What we're going to be doing is just doing some finishing highlights I want to show you, um, eyes and stuff like that, and um, brightening up some of those feathers. That's kind of the thing that we really want to kind of work on and, and kind of start bringing those colors back a little bit. So we're going to get a couple of these done. It's going to be taped. The way this is going to go going forward is, you know, there's going to be a lot of live stuff, but we also want to have tape stuff so you don't have to sit there and listen to me for about five, six hours. So I like to keep things both condensed and balanced. Um, this game's very unique in the fact that you are actually trying to stop them from fighting. So fighting always isn't the, the answer to everything. And... It's beautiful, it's unique, I can't wait to finish painting this so we can get this to the, to the table and show you what it's all about. So let's go down the table and finish. Now one of the most basic things that we want to do here is we want to get those eyes in the macaws uh, done. Um, and all it is is just putting in a nice simple black dot and that's going to bring that back <clears throat> by doing that we are just giving him some depth and boom there we go and how, how are we going to clean up you know and just clean up a little bit around his lip area with an abad in black and we're going to do that for all the rest of the guys so we want to get those done so let me let me get working on it i'll show you one of the other figures and how that pops out and if you look here i lightened up the gray a bit so just using a very um, usually a spotter or uh, what they call this one it is a 10 a 10 0 an 0 10 just get in there and just just get the eye uh, we put enough wash in there that it define the eye and then boom there we go eyes so I'm going to continue on and get all the eyes done and then we're going to come back and we're going to do a few things with some of the other guys here. Now the step, next step is to get these these eyes here on the oscillates. Now what I'm trying to do is just get these board ready. Okay, I'm not really trying to go crazy and, and make them super detailed. You can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. The thing I like to do is make sure I have both hands anchored. Both hands are anchored. I have a, a, an edge here I would show you, but I have my hands actually resting on the table. I take a nice deep breath, so I have a nice steady motion, and then just go in the middle of the eye and work my brush. Let the brush do the work. There we go. And then we get, we get eyes. And that's all we're trying to do here. So I'm going to finish these up. And I'm going to show you a few more things that you could possibly do on these. It's really up to you on how you how you want to take these guys and so forth and so on. Next thing I want to do is I want to take a little bit of pink changeling and or or, or excuse me, Emperor's Children. Usually that usually works a lot better. Um, and all I want to do is inside the part of the ear here. And another this is another one that you really just want to make sure that you have your your hand a certain way and just work inside there a little bit because they do have pink on inside theirs and you just work it in there just a little bit and it just gives a, a nice little feel to it some depth and that's what we're looking for now for the ocelots if you really want to get detailed and, 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 and really work some things in here, um, you can take and get some Ushabi bone. Let me just show you what that is right here. Uh, you're going to take most of the paint off here. And you want a, a decent size medium brush here. You don't want to take too much of it off. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to start building underneath it, their chin because they have like this this um, fur here that that'll work real well. And you can just very lightly just work into the mouth area very easy, very easily, and work that in up into his, their cheeks a little bit, just nice and easy. And it's going to give a nice effect that they have that undercoat or overcoat. You don't want to take away that orange too much, but you want to bring that next color out. And you're going to keep on doing that until you get this effect here, where, where, where you have that fur and, and it mix and it comes up to the mouth and it still defines the mouth, but it's still light enough where you see a little bit of that orange underneath. And there's a good mixture of fur, of fur, so it gives you a little bit more detail is what we're looking for. And so you would do that for the rest of these. I'm going to continue on and do it just, just because eh, it just looks kind of cool. It's, it's a little overkill. You don't need to. But, um, you know, it, it, it does bring out your model a little bit. And brings it a little closer to the cards that you'll see that they, that they have for this. Last thing you may want to do for these guys is you may want to add the spots onto them. So you're going to take some abandoned and black and then you're going to do the eyes. And it's just a slot. It's just a nice slot in the middle like a snake eye. And that is going to be good enough. You can get away with that. Now on the card it looks like they have a little, little thicker eyes. But you really want to take it right from the pot if you want to add spots onto these guys. And just, you know, put them where you see them on the card. And just make sure that they're good and heavy and they're not, they're not all messed up there. And you want to work these dots all in the tail area. And don't put them like in a line. Just mix them up a little bit. Make some bigger than others. And it, it's really going to make a difference if you want to. It depends how detailed you want to be. And I'm going to show you a set of eyes right here. Uh, let me pull up my visor. And you can see just putting those little slots in there help and really bring that those oscillates around. Now let's go to the macaws and finish up here and we'll be done. Now I'm not going to show you every step here. But you're going to take your original colors, your Avalon Sun, you're going to take um, Wild Rider Red, and you're going to take a lighter blue, a Hoth Blue. Instead of the, you, you just find something a little bit lighter, like we used a Calgar Blue. I want to go just a bit lighter, because the blue really needs to stand out for all these things to come together. You're going to get that on your paintbrush, and you, we're going to start with the blue, and you're just going to take a, a, a bit of it off, Okay, you don't want much on your brush and all you want to do is just go over these areas and that's going to bring that blue back. Remember we put a very dark wash on this so we really want this to kind of start to sit up again. Alright and then you're going to come over into the tail area and do the same thing and right in here especially right in here where, where, where the, the wash kind of settled a little bit and that's okay. We're just going to bring that back. We're just going to go lightly over it. Do, don't forget to do the underneath. Don't forget to do the underneath. And you're going to get a nice result like this. And that's what we want. See how the blue came back? See how nice it came back? And it really brings the bird out. And you're going to do the same thing with the Avalanche, uh, the Averland Sunset and then the Wild Rider Red. And you'll see, particularly on this guy, how we brought these colors all back. We even painted some of the signs here and stuff like that and you're going to want to take your gray and come back over the feathers and really bring all this stuff back. You see how this all sits up now? And now you know you got yourself exactly what you want to do in bringing these these figures back. You do the same thing with everything else and then uh, Boom, that's it. You're done and ready to get the game to the table like we are. And that's the exciting part is that we're going to get this back up to the table. Okay, so part one done. All right, we got everything painted. That's 
probably not the most important part. The most important part is just playing the game and having a lot of fun. But you can see this was a, a, a lot of enjoyment painting all these guys and, and getting these guys right where we want them. Um, our adventurers are going to try to stop the war between these two tribes. Can they? Well, now that we have it all thematically put together and painted and ready to go, there's only one thing left to do. Send it on top and get on out of here. Well, there you have it. Dawn of the Peacemakers. All finished up. Just a couple of highlights to just bring it out a little bit more. And doing those little details sometimes really matters. Uh, especially in, with such a thematic game, you want to bring uh, everything you got to it. So, there you go. Um, that's about it. Next video, well, we'll see you when we're playing live. Dawn of the Peacemakers. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.